headline on the other major news story today to which we intend to devote some time is very simple. Hello, Dolly. In February of 1997, a Finn Dorset sheep named Dolly sent waves of future shock around the world. The first living, breathing clone of an adult mammal. It's possible. Hi there, allow me to take five minutes of your time, five minutes to talk about three things. Dolly, the first clone mammal, what cloning is about, and my thoughts on the concept of cloning. So cloning, cloning basically means the duplication of an exact copy of a living organism. This is usually done through the modification of genetic information. So talking about Dolly, on July 1996, the first ever mammal was cloned. This mammal was a sheep named Dolly. So this cloning process wasn't your average fictional cloning thoughts. It wasn't computer generated, neither was it magical. So the cloning process of Dolly is much more complex. To explain the cloning process easily, the people used two sheep, a Scottish black-faced sheep and a Finn Dorset sheep. So with the Scottish blackface sheep, they extracted an egg cell and took out the nucleus, leaving an empty egg. While for the Finn Dorset sheep, they took out one of its cells and took the nucleus out. With the nucleus of the Finn Dorset sheep placed inside the empty egg of the Scottish black sheep, that fused cell was allowed to develop into an embryo. Then placed inside the Scottish black sheep making the black sheep a surrogate mother. So this caused the, the fused cell to develop inside the black sheep. As soon as it was born, it shared no resemblance with the black sheep. It was an exact copy of the Dorset sheep. And this was how they cloned the first sheep. So let's talk about cloning. Cloning has its pros and cons. To clone animals is not impossible nowadays. But it is a controversial topic as it challenges the laws of nature. Physically, the problem with cloning is the possible risks and defects that the cloned animal will acquire. And ethically, the problem is how many animals will be tested on and killed with this process as it challenges the rules of nature. So cloning animals may be arguably a good thing for some people as cloning them for resources is essentially better for needy countries. Let us take the Philippines for example. As economy grows and as population rises, people need more resources. It's a numbers game already. And to think about it, cloning our own resources may be better for the long run as compared to importing resources from other countries. But again, it can be argued that cloning is ethically wrong. And as the Philippines is a religious country with people of different religions, especially Christianity, it would be wrong to challenge God's natural law. It would be wrong to play God, and cloning is a step into that. Cloning is an even more controversial topic once it taps into humans. So there are two types of cloning that involve humans, therapeutic cloning and reproductive cloning. Therapeutic cloning basically is cloning a certain organ or body part from the original to help the original or other people, while reproductive cloning is really making a copy of a living being. Again, the whole argument of cloning is a challenge to the natural law, and reproductive cloning is even worse, as thoughts, feelings, and expressions are variables of humans that are beyond the calculations. Imagine cloning yourself. Can you promise that your clone will feel and think the way you do? Can you imagine the social barriers between you and your clone? Can you imagine the issues regarding this? Clones may be similar, but again, very different. Think about it. Would you clone yourself? Would you clone other humans? And would you clone animals? That's five minutes of your time, and that's the rest of your lives to think about it. Thank you.